half the battle is dressing for our actual lives. And today I've created some mini capsules. I call them clusters for everywhere you go in life, from going out to working out. Hey, this is Netta. Welcome to my channel. My whole goal for everything I do here is to help you look and feel your best every single day by building that wardrobe that's going to get you out the door feeling your best on a regular basis. So that's the goal of everything I do. And this month I've been focusing a lot on wardrobe building and wardrobe strategies and making the most of the clothes that you already own. So today I kind of want to continue on that theme. And I, we're talking and we've been talking a lot about dressing for your actual life because one of the things I've noticed in the, the thousands of closet edits that I've done is that a lot of times we have clothes that don't reflect our actual lifestyle. We have clothes that don't reflect how we actually spend our time and we have unrealistic ideas about you know how often we dress up or maybe how often we dress down and so we have a you know maybe we have a closet filled with cocktail dresses or dressy dresses and we spend all of our time in athleisure. Uh, th this is something that I see over over and over and over again. So it's really about focusing on how you're spending your time. There's a whole algorithm to this and a whole system to this that I teach, but essentially you wanna look at a calendar you know, for a month and count the number of times you actually dress up in the month and count the number of times you actually work out in the month or the number of times you go to work, the number of times you go to church, the number of times you run errands or meet a friend for lunch or do things where you might want to be smart casual. So you, you really want to take a look at and looking at a week, you know, weeks can change, but like over a month, you're going to see a trend. Oh, okay. I really only dressed up three times that month or I dressed up 12 times that month and I need more dressy dresses. Um, but you're going to get an idea of how you really spend your time. So today I want to talk about the next step. After you've kind of looked at how, how you spend your time in a given month, um, there are categories that I think you'll find that you that you need to dress for in your life. And that's what this video is about. We're going to create, and I'm going to show you how I create mini clusters or mini capsules, which I call clusters, for your everyday life. Now, a cluster, if you haven't watched any of my cluster videos in the past, I'll share a couple of links in the description box below. You just click on the word more and it opens up um, the description box and you'll see all that information there. So clusters are basically a collection of six pieces that you put together that all go together. So it includes three tops, two bottoms, two bottoms, and one completer piece or jacket. Three tops, two bottoms, and one jacket. And those six items when combined together, create multiple outfits and give you lots and lots of possibilities um, for extending your wardrobe, for getting the most mileage from your items, and for dressing for a specific area of your life in the best possible way. So we're going to look at clusters today and how they can be used for different areas of your life. Now, the magic of clusters is how they multiply. Two clusters one six piece item, uh, a one six piece cluster, and then another six piece cluster on top of each other. That's enough to get you through a two week trip. It's enough to um, to build a, a starter work wardrobe. It's enough to have a wardrobe in a different size. If you're if you're one of those people whose sizes vary, having a cluster in your other size um, can give you the most mileage out of a fewer number of pieces. Um, like I said, a trip, um, updating your wardrobe for a season one cluster is enough. Two clusters is magical. And really looking at this as a tool for building out any area of your wardrobe. And that's what I'm going to show you in today's video. Okay. So the first thing we're going to talk about is building out an athleisure cluster. Now, many of you spend a lot of your time in athleisure. I'm not talking about workouts that's coming. I'm talking about athleisure. This could be your at home outfit. It could be or at home cluster. It could be you're running around town, but still wanting to look cute cluster. And so I found some fun athleisure pieces here and created a cluster. Most of these pieces are from Anine Bing, but um, I've, I've mixed it up a little bit in this and it includes three tops, which are um, casual, but cute and interesting because you want, you know, if you're, if you're being intentional about building a cluster, you don't want to just grab, a, you know, an old ratty t-shirt with whole, like that's not the point of of putting together a cluster or 
an athleisure look. You want it to be comfortable and casual and really practical, but you also want it to be cute. So um, these three tops, I think, fit the bill. The first, it says tout va bien, um, a little phrase in French means it's all good, everything's going well. Um, and then there's another t-shirt that says chow, you don't have to have two graphic tees, I just happen to love both of these. And then there's a striped tee. Then I paired it with two pants. I believe one of these pants is actually from Land's End, the red pants, and then a pair of black leggings. And then I added a long gray cardigan. So with the different combinations here, you've got multiple options for cute athleisure outfits. You've got two different bottoms, three tops, and then that, that cozy cardigan that you can throw on or not over any of these outfit variations. So the different outfits are going to be something that can get you through any casual day in your life where you're not actually you know working out but you you just want to be comfortable you just want to be casual maybe you're picking up the kids maybe you're running errands maybe you're hanging out around the house getting stuff done um, this is an athleisure capsule so let me know what you think or athleisure cluster as i call them let me know what you think of of an athleisure cluster if you want to see more athleisure um, outfit inspiration if you want me to show you how i would do this even more and, and give you lots more outfits for this um, let me know in the comments and let me know what area of your life when when this video is done you want to see clusters for like what what do you need inspiration for to make the most of your wardrobe Okay, the second cluster is something that I recommend really most of us have. Not everybody, but most women could use a, a dress up cluster. And this is really like a cocktail cluster, almost formal cluster. So basically, um, if you have ever had a last minute invitation to an event, could be a wedding, could be a fundraiser, could be a, a business or professional event, a black tie event. It's a really good idea to have items in your wardrobe that you can reach for. You know, my one of my cardinal rules is to not shop under duress. Like you do not want to shop um, in an emergency, in a, in a panic for something that you need for a special event. Instead, having a cluster that is a cocktail cluster, a formal cluster, a, a black tie cluster, a dress, like a really dressy cluster can save you on those times when you feel like, oh my gosh, I just got, I just realized that that wedding that I thought was so far in the future is like two weeks from now. Or um, somebody just, you know, had extra tickets to the biggest fundraiser in town and it's cocktail attire and I, I don't have anything to wear. The, the only cocktail dress I wore, I wore last year, or I have, I wore last year, or whatever. So having these pieces, they're versatile enough and simple enough that they're not super memorable and you can rotate them and you can wear them over and over again. And um, I think I think this is such a, a game-changing strategy for those of you who tend to have events that crop up here and there that you need to go to. Um, and if your events look different than this, then your pieces will look different than this, right? But what I did for this cluster was I found two formal bottoms. One is a pair of black satin pants. These are from Zara. And then I found this beautiful, full black, kind of 50s inspired Alexander McQueen skirt. This is a big silhouette for, for spring that we're going to be seeing and I am here for it. I love it. Um, then from Express, I found the sequined blazer, the sequin jacket. Now you can pair the sequin jacket with a number of things in your wardrobe, but it works so well to dress up the separates for an evening out or a cocktail party. Um, um, and then I have three tops. The first is a velvet cami that's trimmed in beautiful lace. The second is a sheer sleeved blouse. I believe this one is from Bowdoin. It's, it's a black blouse with sheer sleeves. That's a very big trend for spring, but also really classic, like sheer sleeves for evening is, is always a thing and it's an easy way to tap into the sheer trend without showing your underwear. And then there is a lame top, another big trend for spring. So it's just a shiny top. So basically you want three dressy neutral tops and two, dre I mean, the, the tops don't actually need to be neutral unless the bottoms are not, but you want one of these items to be, one of these categories to be neutral. In the case of this cluster, all of these items are neutral, which also makes them a little bit less memorable and you know something that you can you can wear over and over again so we've got three dressy tops two dressy bottoms and a dressy blazer and combined you've got lots of really pretty and elevated and fancy outfit possibilities for those last minute events okay let's talk about 
a corporate look. Now, many of you are still dressing in, um, and, and I applaud you if you are, because I think it is so elegant to wear suits and to go in, in full professional mode for work. And if you've got the work, a kind of workplace that supports that or that requires that, you're going to want to know how to make the most of your professional wardrobe. And so a cluster is something that can really help you multiply the outfit options that you get from your suits and your um, corporate clothes, your, your work clothes. So this is all from M.M. Lafleur, and I thought this was just, they had such a beautiful um, selection. They always have a beautiful selection of pieces for work, but their pieces are mostly washable. I think they're all washable and they're really, really comfortable. They're very high quality. They're definitely more of an investment, but they're very high quality. One of the easiest ways to create a cluster is to shop from one site. If you shop from one site, everything kind of falls into place really easily. So everything on this um, in this cluster is from M.M. Lafleur. So we've got a suit of um, this beautiful indigo color. So this blue double-breasted blazer, these blue pants. I also have a pair of um, kind of beige pants, a sort of a camel, light camel color. And then I've got three tops, um, a pop of cherry in this, in this beautiful button down top, um, a knit ivory top, and then a patterned silk top, washable silk top. So all of these items are interchangeable and will go together to create those um, beautiful, professional, polished looks. Only thing you need to add to this is a pair of neutral pumps. It can be camel, it can be navy, um, it can be, you know, beige or cream, whatever color you want, and you're going to really be able to pull this um, capsule or cluster together and create lots and lots of beautiful outfits. Okay, the next uh, cluster is actually for working out. These, all of these pieces are from Zella at Nordstrom, and um, you want to have options that are going to obviously work for workouts, but you also want them to be um, cute enough that you can throw them on after, you know, you can you can run and stop at the store afterwards. So I created this with uh, with that in mind. So you've got a pair of their, you know, their famous high-waisted leggings that kind of hold everything in, in gray. These are super soft and super comfortable if you've never tried them. And then a pair of pull-on kind of yoga pants in a wine color. I thought this was a fun and, and different addition um, rather than having two pairs of leggings. I loved this jacket that is kind of um, adaptable to different climates. Like you can wear it as a vest or you can wear it as a jacket. I think that's brilliant. And then there's a black sports bra tank kind of thing, hybrid, a, a black tee, and then a white sweatshirt. So really you're looking at different options that can mix and match to give you that workout wardrobe of your dreams. Again, if this looks a little too basic for you, the second cluster, you can add more color, you can add more pattern, and then you're going to have lots and lots of options. The key is to keep the color and pattern, the interesting pieces in one category, in the tops, the bottoms, or the jackets. And you're going to have the maximum versatility that way. Okay, the next cluster we're looking at is what I call business casual. So this is like, this could also be smart casual for those of us who don't need to dress business casual, but this is a, a more relaxed workplace where you can wear what you want, but you still want to feel polished. You still want to feel professional. So I love this. This is all from J. Crew. Um, I've included a pair of white wide leg jeans and then a pair of their black Cameron um, pants, which are just, a, you know, one of their best selling pants and a really flattering and comfortable style. So the white wide leg jeans and the black pants, actually the pants are navy, sorry. And then I have three tops, um, a navy and white striped tee, like a bateau tee, breton tee, um, a white linen short sleeved top, and um, a gingham checked top because you can't have J. Crew without having gingham. And then of course you also can't have J. Crew without having gingham with leopard. So I added a leopard um, jacket to go with it, like a leopard trench. So these are polished and classic and crisp and very springy pieces when worn without the leopard trench. When you add the leopard trench, it, it's a little bit more fun, a little bit more um, um, creative and eclectic. So that's a business casual cluster. And you can do that with pieces in your own wardrobe. You can do all of these with pieces in your own wardrobe. But really starting to look at how you can build a wardrobe using clusters is going to be a tool that I think is really going to transform the way that you shop and the way that you get dressed and definitely also the way that you pack. Okay, the final cluster, I was a little out of my element for this one. This is the outdoor cluster. This is for people who do outdoorsy things, like maybe you hike or bike or camp or 
spend time in the barn tending to horses. I don't know. These are all outdoorsy clothes. These are from L.L. Bean. I went to L.L. Bean because when I went skiing six years ago, that's where my friend told me to shop. So they definitely have that, that um, outdoor stuff. And some of these clothes are called outdoor stuff. Like, the, not the word stuff, but they're called this stuff is for outdoors. So they have a whole section for outdoorsy things. So two different pairs of pants. One is a blue cozy jogger in like organic French terry, something like that, like really, really cozy. And then another pant that I think is called a rain pant or an outdoor pant or something like that in beige. So you've got two neutral bottoms. You've got um, a cozy Henley, a waffle weave long sleeve tee, and then a flannel because of course you have to have a flannel if you're doing something outdoors. I'm pretty sure that's the law somewhere. You have to have a flannel. Um, and these are all pretty neutral. And then I really like this cozy plaid Sherpa lined jacket that I think would be perfect for doing outdoorsy things in cold weather. I don't know why you would want to do outdoorsy things in cold weather. I feel like that, that's so like, why would you go outside when it's freezing? Why would you stay outside when it's freezing? But I know many of you love to do outdoorsy things in cold weather. And so this would be a cluster that would work for that. And we'll give you some fun and um, practical outfit possibilities for your outdoor activities. So I hope that you enjoyed hearing a little bit more or getting a refresher if you've already heard about my cluster concept as to how the cluster concept works. So just to recap really quickly, a couple of quick tips. You want to make sure that you have three tops, two bottoms, and a pair of, and a jacket, sorry, three tops, two bottoms, and a jacket that all six of those pieces go together. Um, you want to use it as a building block for your wardrobe and add a second cluster if you so choose. And if the second cluster goes with the first cluster, the approximate number is a bajillion outfit possibilities from those six, 12 pieces. Um, and then you want to limit your use of color and pattern, especially at the beginning, especially as you're getting the hang of using clusters, to one category, either tops, bottoms, or jackets. And then you're going to have that maximum versatility in your wardrobe. So let me know what you think of these clusters. Do you want to see more like it? Do you want me to dive more into one of these specific areas of life, one of these specific categories? Um, and, and whether you have tried clusters in your own wardrobe and how they have worked for you. I know we just finished the reverse closet edit and wardrobe building boot camp, and the women in the in the boot camp who created clusters with the items in their own wardrobe, and you know that's what I always encourage you to do, not to go out and buy everything new, but to start with the items in your own wardrobe. The women who did that consider this like a game-changing strategy. It's a really... Um, it, Cre like practical and um, easy way to look at building a wardrobe, updating your wardrobe for a season, packing for a trip. Um, and if you can think about creating these mini capsules, these mini wardrobes for yourself, for every, every need that arises in your life, you're going to be ready for anything and you're not ever going to need to be um, paying a, a, an exorbitant amount for a, a, you know, a last minute cocktail dress or um, you know, a, a work outfit or anything like that. You're going to be ready for whatever whatever life throws at you. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you do. Give it a like. Um, comment below and let me know what you think of this concept, what you'd like to see more of in future videos. I read all of the comments and you guys have given me some of my best ideas. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. This is the best place to be on YouTube and you don't want to miss the fun that we're going to be having in 2023. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next video.